today I'll be using the new DJI Neo to test if it's any good for kayaking. So I'll be testing a few modes today and I'll be using the phone as well as that auto function where you don't need to use a phone or a controller. Let's see how good it is on the kayak. Okay, so the first set of tests I'm going to do, I'm going to start using my phone. So I'll use the spotlight mode where it just floats there and just follows the uh, subject. So let's see how that goes. Following that, I'll use the follow mode and the directional tracking without using my phone. I'm going to press start now. Okay, so now I can use the remote. I'm gonna go up. Okay, let's see how far it fo how it follows me. I'm gonna leave my phone here, and I'm just gonna go over there. Looking at the footage, the spotlight mode seems to be working extremely well. There's two people in this frame, myself and Arthur, but the algorithm makes sure it only follows me. It seems very clever and whatever DJI did, it appears they did a very good job. I was so convinced that the DJI Neo would get confused as soon as I jump on the kayak, but there were no confusion whatsoever even when there were two people in the frame. For this spotlight mode, I will most likely be using it to record my Greenland rolls to see a different angle and perspective. One of the things you'll notice is that the video quality is not that great, even though it is a 4K camera. But for that price, I believe it's definitely worth it. I bought extra batteries with it and also DJI Care, just in case my DJI Neo decides to take a dip in the ocean. If you don't know what DJI Care is, it is basically an insurance policy if anything happens to your drone and DJI will replace it, but of course with the limit. Now to test the follow mode on my phone. Okay, so it's following Arthur. But it's, wow. Wow, it's getting very confused. It couldn't really track the kayak. Interesting. So now it's stuck there. And I have to manually on my phone bring it back so this is where I had some trouble with the follow mode for some reason the tracking just stopped and it stopped very quickly and I'm not sure if the reflection of the water had anything to do with it but it really got me worried using the app I couldn't override the follow mode to manually bring the drone back to me I even had to close the DJI app and reconnect it but it didn't work for some reason, all I could do was spin around in circles, so I had to direct Arthur to go towards a direction so that he was back in the frame. Honestly, I did get a little worried as I couldn't control the drone with my phone anymore. But fortunately, the drone picked up Arthur again and it started following him back to the shore. Okay, my GoPro got too hot. So as I was saying, um, I couldn't control it and I think it's more of a user issue than anything else, but it got me a little nervous. <laughs> Um, so like I was saying, I think it was the reflection of the sun, also it's half Arthur's body, it didn't track so well. So let's see, I'm going to try it without the phone and let's see if it flies off my hand and it follows me. It's going to be an interesting test, um, now I don't know, I don't know anymore, let's see. <laughs> Far, follow, three, two, one. Okay guys, I think you can see my drone here. I want to see if it's following me. Um, what I did was, it just flew from my hand by pressing the button. So now, I think the drone finds it difficult to follow half a body. But at this moment, from what I can hear, it sounds like it's following me okay. Uh, but I think the real test is to see if I can land it on my hand while I'm out here. But so far, it looks like, okay, good, it's following me. Well, let me just go fast. Okay, 
So now I'm testing a bit of speed to see if it's able to keep up. But from what I know, from watching other videos, it's not bad. So I think you can see I'm going quite fast. I wonder if it's keeping up. Seems to be doing okay. Okay. Now I want it to face me so I can land it. I'm going to put my hand out. And let's see if it comes to me. Okay, he doesn't want to come to my hand. I mean, that's the whole point of getting this drone to make it easier. Okay, come to my hand. Come, please. Okay, now it's coming. <clears throat> but because I'm constantly moving. There we go. Oh, no. No, it's the current. It makes it very difficult for it to land. Okay, I don't feel very comfortable right now. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can land it while on the kayak. Nope. Okay, it is getting closer, except because I'm moving, I don't think it can find... Okay. You know what? I'm going to go back onto the shore and I think that would be the safest way. So now I'm rushing back to get my phone so that I can manually fly it. Hopefully I can, but... What a nightmare. Okay, so <laughs> it got confused and and because it got confused, I didn't have a controller. I didn't have my phone. I was just using the function where you just, you know, uh, launch off your hands. So once it lost me and then because it was just hovering there and I wasn't able to catch it because the kayak is moving so fast, I went back to get my phone so I can connect and to come back but my it was too far out it was only about 50 meters and it didn't connect so it was just hovering there and luckily Arthur was out there and just staying underneath directly underneath the drone and he managed to catch it before the battery ran out so it's it's a it's a big learning curve for me honestly I think it's a great drone but I think there's a big big learning curve on how we're going to use it you are a hero my friend thank you you saved this you saved dji some money you saved <laughs> i didn't even try the directional tracking which is following the front instead of the back but i think for today that's it and once i learn how to use it better i'll make another video but it was full of excitement <laughs>